Hello family and friends, I'm Susan and welcome to my home. Hey everybody, it's Susan and tonight we're going to do a sausage risotto. It's very easy. I know some people think risotto takes a long time. It doesn't. You can do it a couple different ways, but it's very filling and so good. Ponytail up, let's get to cooking. Hey everybody, it's Susan, and tonight we're going to do some creamy sausage risotto. Um, it calls for one tablespoon of olive oil, a fourth a cup of diced onions, which I've got a heaping fourth a cup, half a pound of ground sausage, which I actually did one pound, of the hot sausage, Jimmy Dean style. You could use um, Italian sausage if you wanted to. I just, for some reason, have always done the Jimmy Deans. I love it in this. Okay, we need two cups of instant rice, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, which I've got right there ready to go, two cups of chicken broth, and I've got two extra cups of water in with it. Um, this is just the chicken bouillon base that I normally use in a lot of my recipes, just put into the water to put in to help uh, soften up the rice. We need half a cup of milk, a fourth of a cup of grated Parmesan, and then salt and pepper to taste. So the first thing we need to do is get the onions into the bowl. I'm going to go ahead and warm this up, put a little bit of the olive oil in, and put the onions in. It's getting warm. Let me go ahead and put about a tablespoon of olive oil in there. That's enough. Of course, I've got the Mediterranean olive oil. You can use whatever kind you like. I about need to get some new. And I'm gonna put the fourth of a cup of minced onion in there. Throw that around a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. I don't want it to get too done. It said for one to two minutes. It's been about a minute or so, and they look like they're breaking apart really good. The next thing it says is to add sausage to the pan, breaking it up, which is what I'm doing right here. And with this recipe, we are going to leave whatever juice or fat that's rendered from the sausage in the pan. It does call for it. There you go. Okay, I've got all of it broken up into the pan. I'm going to let it cook until it's slightly brown, which will probably be in about two or three minutes, but I'll show you once it gets browned up. And I'm just basically breaking up the sausage as it's browning. That way I can get it browned all the way around. As you can see, I'm trying to flip it over, breaking it up. And then we'll start adding the rest of the mixture. That's looking pretty brown right now. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is add the apple cider vinegar to it, which is two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And I know you're thinking, what? But I know it makes it taste really good. I can't explain it either, and I'm not trying to. So two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. All right. Let me stir that around in the mixture real quick. And then I'm going to add in the rice. I've let it cook for about a minute or so. They want you to get the uh, apple cider vinegar in with the meat and get it seasoned up, which it is. I'm going to put in the rice, which is two cups. And I'm going to stir this together real quick until everything is, all the rice is kind of coated with that vinegar, sausage, juice mixture. As you see, the rice is turning from white to a yellower color. Now, now it's time to start adding in the chicken broth. I'm going to add in one cup of the chicken broth. And what you do is you basically let it, let the rice that is, absorb the chicken broth. And then you add more. 
and usually by the time I'm done, I've usually got about four cups in here. We will see. I definitely will have three. Need to let that boil just a second and then add some more in. It's starting to absorb some of the broth. So I'm going to go ahead and add in. As you see, I can move it and it's not totally wet. So I'm going to go ahead and add in another cupful. And let that absorb. And I'm actually going to cover it this time. So it will help steam the rice and get it to absorb even more of the broth. So I'm going to let that cover for about two or three minutes and then we'll come back and see how it looks. Okay, the rice has again absorbed almost all of the liquid, even while I've had it covered for the past three minutes or so. I'm going to add in some more. Got another cup. And let's see how that does. And of course, I'm going to stir it around. See if the rice will absorb the rest of the liquid. And then I'll let it simmer for about another probably five minutes and we'll see what we're looking at. I wound up going ahead and adding all four of the cups of water with the chicken broth that is. So it's four cups all together, two cups of chicken broth, two cups of water in here and it's looking really good now. The, the rice is getting soft and it's time to add, it says one tablespoon of butter. I'm just gonna arrange that one tablespoon half a cup of milk, which it will absorb also. And fourth a cup of Parmesan cheese, which I am using the regular Parmesan cheese in the shaker. For some reason, it seems to do better in this. It melts easier than the shredded Parmesan cheese. You know I've got both. A fourth a cup of Parmesan cheese. All right, and I love cheese, so there you go. Okay, we've added the milk, we've added the butter, we've added the cheese. What I'm gonna do is stir it around a little bit. And it is on low heat now. And it has absorbed all the liquid that was in there. Now all I'm gonna do is leave it on low heat for about another two minutes, and it will finish absorbing the cheese, absorbing the butter and absorbing what's left of the milk and it will be ready to eat. All right. Two minutes. Starting now. Okay. And here it is. I don't know if you can see how buttery that is, but it is so juicy and tender now. Time to plate it up. All right. And this is Danny's plate, of course. There we go. Sausage risotto. So good. Yet easy. Try it. You'll love it. I hope everybody tries this um, creamy sausage risotto. Make sure that you use instant rice, because if you don't have any instant rice, you will definitely need to have uh, or you'll need to pre-cook your rice if it's not instant rice because instant rice does cook quicker uh, depending on how hot you got your pan you may need less water than i used it just depends just keep adding some and then seeing if your rice absorbs it and then keep tasting it to see when it gets nice and soft and then you know you've got the perfect rice don't want to overcook it don't want to undercook it but it's awesome flavor no matter what. Until next time, have a great week. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos.